when they drink milk, they will have severe hives, swelling, vomiting, even problems breathing. And that's the kind of milk allergy that we're working with. We're not dealing with lactose intolerant or people who have a little bit of stomach upset from drinking milk. These are kids who can be literally deathly allergic to milk. This is life-threatening food allergies. First of all, we uh, screen these patients by asking questions about the history. We do skin tests, we do blood tests, and then we challenge them all. Challenging mean, mainly giving them milk in amount that we know is likely to cause them a reaction to make sure that they're indeed allergic to the milk. Once the child is proven to be allergic to milk, he goes through the desensitization process, and that's a long process. It takes about four to uh, six months, depending on the child. And we start with very small, minute amount of milk that increase over the first two days to about 2.5 ml of milk. And then we approximately double the amount of milk the child is consuming every week. Uh, the uh, increase in consumption of milk is done under supervision in the hospital because this is most likely uh, the time when the mm -hmm. child will have an adverse event and we want to be able to supervise and treat him promptly when he has an adverse event. And then the child goes home and continues with the same dose he tolerated in the hospital for a week, coming for the next week again for another increase in dose until we reach a 200 ml, which is about a cup of milk, a glass of milk. Once he reaches that amount, uh, the recommendation will be to continue and incorporate dairy in his diet at least the minimum of two days a week. This is because studies suggest that you don't really outgrow your milk allergy, you desensitize the child. So we need to incorporate the dairy or the milk in his diet in order to keep him from reacting in the future.